Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl for Nalungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Financial C2.0. You can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we have a Patreon. You guys can feel free to become members, and we'll appreciate. Big shout out to everyone. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for subscribing. You guys are just the best. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Um, make sure to check out my blog morning coffee with funny and enjoy the content that I'm putting out So a big shout out to the person that suggested this today. We're reacting to Sunnah of the Prophet and its categories Dr. Zaki Naik. So without wasting time, let's get into the video Could you explain to us? What is a Sunnah? What does it mean and how many types of Sunnah are there? Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulillah wa ala ali wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd, a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbi shahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa ahlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. The word sunnah literally means the way or the custom and the sunnah of the prophet means the way of the prophet or the prophet's tradition. The word sunnah it indicates and means the things, the deeds, and the approval of the Prophet in the span of 23 years during his prophethood. It means what the Prophet said, what the Prophet did, and what the Prophet approved in the span of 23 years during his prophethood. And the Sunnah of the Prophet can be divided into three types. The first is Sunnah Kali, that means the sayings of the Prophet. The second is sunnah e faili that means the actions of the Prophet. And the third is sunnah e takriri which means the approval of the Prophet. So basically these three types of sunnah are there in three different categories. Okay, that um, seems very straightforward. But could you perhaps, uh, for the benefit of the viewers and myself, give cite some examples of each of the different categories you've mentioned. The example of the first type of sunnah, that's sunnah e kali, the sayings of the Prophet. For example, Muhammad said in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Adhan, hadith number 631, the Prophet said, pray as you see me praying. So this is a commandment of the Prophet. It's a saying of the Prophet. And it is the duty of a Muslim that we should follow it. The example of the second type of sunnah, sunnah e faili, that is the deeds of the Prophet, is mentioned in, for example, Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, book of Adhan, hadith number 736. Here it says that the Sahaba who narrates, whenever I saw the Prophet of a Salah, he used to raise his hand up to the shoulders. And then, when he said the takbir, he again did the same action, raised the hand up to the shoulders, and then he bowed down. When he came up, he said, Sami Allah Ali bin Hamida. That Allah hears those who praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And again he did the same action, that is, raised his hands up to the shoulders. But he did not do the action, raising the hands up to the shoulders, between the two prostrations when he said the takbir. So this is the action of the Prophet. Sahaba sees the action and narrates it. This becomes sunnah e faili. The third type of sunnah is the sunnah e takriri, that is the approval of the Prophet. And the example is given in Sunnah Abu Daud, volume number one, in the book of Salah, hadith number 1262, where once the Prophet, he prayed the Fajr Salah, he leads the Fajr Salah in the congregation. And after the Salah is over, he sees a man, after Salah, he gets up, 
and he offers two rakat salah. So the Prophet says, the Fajr salah is only of two rakat. Indicating, why did you offer two rakat again? So he said that I did not offer the two sunnat salah before Fajr. Farz. That's the reason I'm offering it now. And the Prophet kept silent. Now because the Prophet was silent, it gives the indication that he approved it. Because if something is wrong, it's the duty of the Prophet to correct it. So because he kept silent, it gives an approval. So this comes in the third category of sunnah, that sunnate, takriri, approval of the Prophet. In these three types of sunnah, if all the hadiths are authentic, all the hadiths are sahih, the sunnah that carries the maximum weight is sunnat kali that is the sayings of the Prophet. Because that is the general ruling. Because if a Prophet says something, or if the Prophet commands something, it means he has done it intentionally and with a purpose, that is the highest degree amongst the three. The next is sunnat fali that is the action of the Prophet. So what the Prophet did, maybe a Sahaba saw it and narrates it. But there can be occasions where a Prophet did certain things out of necessity, which may not be the normal norm. Therefore, the action of the Prophet carries less weight than the sayings of the Prophet. Saying is with consciousness and that is the general ruling. And if there is a difference between the saying and the action of the Prophet, the saying of the Prophet carries more weight. Because maybe the action was done out of some reason or out of some purpose, which the person who is seeing it, he may not be aware of it. And we'll have such examples. I'll give some examples in future, inshallah, in this episode. And the third amongst the three is the sunnat takriri approval of the Prophet. That means he kept silent, that means it is approved, it is permissible. Interesting video. I was reading some of the comments and someone was asking why uh, Dr. Zaki Naik's channel was banned in India. Does anyone have information on that? If you do, feel free to comment below. Um, this is an interesting video, like I said, but then what's the purpose of these categories? Are we talking about if we read something, maybe the prophet said something, is it about believing what was said or what? Or is it that we're supposed to also live by the ways of these prophets also um there have been many prophets in in the world way before us so i'm thinking d does or the awake ever uh, conflict maybe one person said this but another prophet said another thing also are we supposed to if we're supposed to live by these categories maybe say their sayings are we supposed to follow what each and every prophet said, or oh, maybe there's, we have to choose. I'm just a little confused. I understand the way he broke everything down, but I'm just wondering because there's sayings, there's actions, and the, the third one. So I'm just wondering. Otherwise, it's always a good time reacting to, to, to Dr. Zaki Naik. It's always, always interesting. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. They're always suggesting very interesting things. I have to give them a thumbs up. Always, always interesting. Otherwise, um, this was interesting. Please feel free to answer my questions and uh, appreciate. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.